Hello everyone and welcome to module 5 of OTT 501. Uh, let's look at what some of the expectations are this week. I can't believe we're already now officially halfway through. So uh, this week it will be a little bit different of scheduling because the Sunday of our module does fall on Easter Sunday. Uh, so we'll sort of push the module to the following Monday the 17th. All right, so here we go. We're going to read the articles and chapters and websites and I should even add their videos on this week about philosophies of online teaching uh, and interactivity and engagement and teaching in an online environment. So here's our post. We're going to continue our journey that we've been exploring about online environment and online teaching, especially in the K-12 atmosphere. And we're also going to look at you know, interactivity engagement. So there's the usual sort of standard post. I'm not trying to be redundant, but I wanted to make this sort of a simple, sort of, you know, consistent aspect, I guess, that we always look at from week to week. All right, so we're going to post to the Module 5 folder. This is the usual that we've always done. And our Wednesday post will be April 12th. Okay, now by, the sun, by Monday now, the 17th, um, I'm going to ask you to craft your own philosophy of online education, which might be certainly different than you might think about a regular uh, philosophy statement. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of similarities between what you might use in a traditional classroom versus what you do online, but you might have some key aspects that you want to uh, mention in an online philosophy statement. So uh, I'm going to give you the opportunity to research other philosophies online, and also I put some materials in the folder that deal specifically with that aspect of crafting a philosophy education online. Uh, so these should be you know, cited. Create your statement. Uh, if you use any outside sources, cite it in, in APA. But this time we're going to sort of extend it, and I want you to use we video for the first time. So if you go back to Module 3, there were instructions on the action sheet on how to access the, your we video account that we now have through Kinesis. Uh, if you have your own account and if it's the full version, wonderful, use it. If you have a free account and you, again you want the full version, use the link I posted on the Module 3 action sheet. Uh, to access that full version account. And I want you to create a video where you provide your voiceover of your philosophy statement. Now you can then drag in images or, at, or any sort of representations that might further your philosophy statement to make it an, interest, an interesting one, okay? And I put together some quick little help files in the folder to help you get used to using Wee Video. And then by that Monday, you're going to post a reply to other students' initial discussion posts and then also their philosophy statement videos. Now, many people might be posting later in the week, so again, please continue that discussion into the following week, especially those, those philosophy statements. I'm going to ask you to, to post your actual written philosophy statement and the actual voiceover video to the same discussion. You can put it in the same post, you know, whatever you want to do. All right. Now, a little sneak peek into week six. Uh, so you kind of get a sense of what your expectations are. Um, actually, you know, this is going to be um, sort of the same thing for week six and week seven. By module eight, you're going to have to give us access to your online content. So take a look at this. I'm going to give you a little bit of advanced preview at it. I know many of you are off this week coming up because of uh, spring break. So you might get a chance to get a little ahead of yourself. So there is some things you can look at to help you for the following week coming up. All right, let's look at our... Schoology page. So I'm right now I'm in module five. Let's open up the materials folder here. So that comes up. And I have a chapter from a different book by Anderson um, that I used to always use in this course. And this this chapter is a little bit different. It deals specifically with online philosophies and practice. So um, this will help you, this will guide you through how to some of the key aspects in perhaps crafting an online um, philosophy of education statement. So take a look at this article. It's actually a chapter from a, a book. And again, I, you don't have to read the whole thing, certainly. Uh, pick out what aspects would then help you in creating a, our, a philosophy statement. So that there's some really good aspects in there that will help you. Okay. Now, going back to the materials folder. Then we have our chapters from the Tech Variety book. I went 10 and 11, which is really good about interactivity and engagement. But then I went ahead to 13 because 13 will also, I think, help you a little bit with your philosophy statements as well. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. I think 13 has some interesting aspects in them that might help you, in you as you craft your philosophy statements um, for the end of the module. Okay, so this here comes the, uh, the Tech Variety Chapter 13. Okay, so about goals and vision and ownership, I think those are some things. So, you know, this says the final act it might be a little bit misleading because we really haven't finished the book yet. Um, but I wanted to kind of jump ahead a little bit. I thought that was a little more appropriate for where we were 
in the course together, right? Now, I have a lot of links and YouTube videos to talk about online teaching in a K-12 atmosphere. Uh, this is a really cool video about a, how an online school in a high school. Interesting video about um, how online learning shapes individuals. And then this is actually a website of a completely online public middle through high school, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then you have these other this great infographic um, about where online learning is going. So I think this is kind of a, a neat one to take a look at, all the statistics of where online learning is going, which is very, very interesting. Um, then you have this website, which is actually a PDF file of an article, really of a pamphlet, I guess I would, I would say, about keeping pace. It's from 2015, so it's still pretty new. You don't have to read the whole thing. I just want to give you a lot of stuff here. You can kind of glance through this quickly, but just keeping pace uh, in the digital world of online learning in the K-12 environment. So take a look at that if you like. Again, uh, this is the actual website, Keeping Pace, which gives you a little more um, aspects. And this is the uh, Christensen Institute, which is a really cool place that really dedicates themselves to online learning. Uh, so there's some places to kind of look around here about what they're involved in in online learning. And then there is a video um, about them again as well from the Institute about blended learning 101 and again you don't have to listen to all of this I give you a lot there's a lot of cool stuff from the, the Christensen Institute uh, about online learning so I just want to give you a just sampling of what's out there. there's a lot out there certainly about this topic okay so those are the materials for the week and here is where you'll put your discussion post and here is where you will drop your philosophy statement written and your video, which we're looking forward to hearing more about. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.